New Jersey, we have some great wildlife success stories. The recovery of the osprey to their historic population size, the return of the peregrine falcon statewide, and the bald eagle that has rebounded from a single nest in the 1980s to over 250 nests today. These species would have been lost without the concerted efforts that resulted from the Endangered and Non-Game Species Conservation Act. Conservation is from New Jersey Fish and Wildlife, nonprofit organizations, DEP Green Acres land acquisition, and land use regulations that protect habitat. All of these fell into place because of New Jersey's Endangered Species Act. Since the program was initiated in 1973, the mission of the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program is to protect and conserve a diverse range of wildlife that are considered endangered, threatened, or species of special concern within the state, plus those that are considered secure. This conservation work is guided by species of rarity and the New Jersey State Wildlife Action Plan and made possible by the dedicated biologists who work tirelessly, boots on the ground, conducting research studies and collecting data in the field. Our Connecting Habitat Across New Jersey or CHANGE project is an initiative that we started several years ago and it's really designed in part as a planning tool that would identify core habitats and then habitat connectors that allow wildlife to move through the landscape from one core habitat to the other. New Jersey has the densest road network in the country. We have some really great examples of wildlife passages that we've installed along roadways in partnership with the New Jersey Department of Transportation. Wildlife conservation is really a team sport and therefore collaborating with the New Jersey Department of Transportation is critical in these situations. They not only bring expertise when it comes to engineering, but also in many cases funding to help us implement road passage projects. The Endangered Species Program is, is really lucky to have a dedicated group of volunteers registered with the Wildlife Conservation Corps who assist on so many of our projects. They monitor bald eagle nests, osprey nests, colonial water birds, the other coastal birds. The bald eagle project has over 130 volunteers. They monitor over 250 nests statewide for us. And they work all the way through the eagle nesting season, which is January through July. And that gives us so much information that puts us so far ahead of many other states that manage their bald eagle populations. We really know more about our bald eagles in New Jersey than almost anyone. And it's all because of a huge group of very skilled volunteers. I feel very lucky as Chief of the Endangered Species Program. I oversee a staff of extremely dedicated, very skilled biologists. They are all experts in their field and they really work hard to accomplish conservation and move the needle for the species that they oversee. And they build partnerships that really make a difference to New Jersey's wildlife and New Jersey's habitats. Not only are they hard working, but they are experts in their field. Most of them have a specific species expertise. They work to identify threats to those species and also work to identify ways to remove threats to those species. When I started with New Jersey Fish and Wildlife over 20 years ago, I worked in the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program. I think we accomplished great things back then and I think our staff continue to accomplish great things now.